Thank you. Our next question will come from Jennifer Jacobs at Bloomberg. Experiencing record inflation, the worst in 30 years, way beyond expectations. OPEC didn't increase oil production. Can you tell us a little bit about how you would prevent this, the new spending and your Build Back Better agenda from exacerbating the problem? And also, what else are you going to do to fix this problem with inflation? All right, thank you. Well, let's start with this. Prices have gone up, and families and individuals are dealing with the realities of, of the, that bread costs more, that gas costs more. And we have to understand what that means. That's about the cost of living going up. That's about having to stress and stretch limited resources. That's about a source of stress for families that is not only economic, but is on a daily level, something that is a heavy weight to carry. So it is something that we take very seriously, very seriously. And we know from the history of this issue in the United States that when you see these prices go up, it has a direct impact on the quality of life for all people in our country. So it's a big issue, and we take it seriously. And it is a priority, therefore. So we have addressed it in a number of ways. One of the um, issues that we know is, is related to this is uh, the supply chain issue that we just discussed. And so on a domestic level, in terms of domestic policy, one of the approaches we have taken is to work with labor unions and to work with municipalities in opening back up and extending the hours of our ports. Um, there are actually three I have in mind, Los Angeles, uh, Long Beach, and Savannah. Um, and in fact, part of the infrastructure um, bill uh, benefit is uh, most recently what we will do to assist Savannah in, in broadening their ability to be an active port. And we have seen a reduction in the, in the container ships um, off of the Long Beach and LA ports because of what we have done, which is to extend, as you know, the 24, or to extend the hours to now 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, but there is also a point that is important to make on the Build Back Better framework. One, it is designed to make it less expensive for working people to live. It was specifically designed to bring down the costs of childcare and increase accessibility and availability. Designed to bring down the cost of elder care and make it available to all those working families that need that support and need that help. And Build Back Better is not gonna cost anything, we're paying for it. So when we can get Build Back Better passed, and we are optimistic that we will, the American people will see costs actually reduced around some of the most essential services that they need to to take care of their basic responsibilities, including issues like child care and elder care and also preschool. And that's an important point to mention also. And in fact, I had some conversations here in France, including with the Minister of Education in France, about the, again, global impact of the pandemic on child care, but also on education, and in particular for our youngest children. Uh, universal pre-K, when we're able to do that, three and four years old, getting education at no cost, what that is gonna do in terms of not only supporting working families who otherwise can't afford to put their kids in a private situation and, have, and ha otherwise don't have it available, that's gonna have a huge impact on lowering the cost for families. So that is a big part of our agenda and um, I think it's important to also um, stress that it's not gonna cost anything for the American taxpayer. 